Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Last left off, uh, <laughs> we just saw the Mortons have a brotherly fight, and hopefully uh, they're now dead, but uh, I've got a feeling that's not the case. Also, a lion came in and watched the whole puffle too, but she also disappeared from the cutscene for reasons. Oh, hello. Come on, you little fuckers. Now, we've just got to get the last statue from Mr. Obed. And then we can get the fuck out of here. Complete the incantations. Oh, God. Almost out. Ah, this is where he came down. Uh, yes, I remember. Yeah, I could use a crystal or two as well. Um, now. Oh, God, yeah, this... Oh, I remember this. This is where... Johnson here. What? This is Johnson, Frederick Johnson. But what the... I've been listening in on your radio transmission. You damn... You better tell me what happened to Fisk, and I mean now. I don't know for sure. I believe Lamb terminated him. What for? Carnby, there's something you must know. I work for... Actually, I used to work for the government. I was ordered to infiltrate Christopher Lamb's organization. But my boss was taken off the case. Someone double-crossed us, and my cover was blown. Bullshit. Just tell me about Fisk. I believe Lamb got rid of your friend because he knew too much about Shadow Island and the Mortons. You probably know that at one time, Fisk was part of Bureau 713. And you, you just let the bastard do it? I didn't know what was going on, but even if I had, I couldn't have done a thing. Do you have the tablets? Are you joking, or are you just stupid? Don't tell me you didn't know Lamb has already retrieved the translation. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. Just do your job and let me do mine. Over. Oof. They're not happy bunnies at all, are they? Right, okay. All the secrets are coming out now. Get off my dick. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Just make sure you have our extraction ready. Because we're going to need it pretty soon. Ooh. Talking of crystals. Oh, we've only got 9% left in our battery charger, so... That was pretty useful. Yeah. I'm going to just sit here and wait. Hopefully get some more juice. Come on, Pooch. Where are you? Now I'm going to... Ah, there he is. Why can't I pick that up? Uh, get fucked, dog. Okay, I'm trying. There we go. They're not always easy to pick up, as I've said before. You know, I think that's one of the biggest gripes with this game. It's just trying to pick items up. Most of the time you're okay, but then there are some really fiddly spots that just plain suck donkey people when you're trying to, like, pick them up. All right, we should be near 100% now. Ah, uh, close enough, I guess. Right. Let's go. Ooh, two pooches. Buy one, get one free, I guess. Nice. Keep going. Running down these long, windy corridors. Here, another one. There we go. Get fucked, pooch. Right. Onwards. Ooh. Gonna be Grab some charge. Ah, you little fuck nugger. Fuck knuckles everywhere. Nice. Now we should be on 100% in there. Cool. Alright. Be nice if there was like a reload animation or something. But, oh, you. Oh, that's... Ooh, hello. Yes. A little bit of lightning. Up your arse. How's that feel? Bet it feels pretty fucking good. Cool. Keep going slowly. Damn, these things really do drain you dry. But that's fine. Oh, really? Yeah, they're definitely invisible, aren't they? They kind of sneak in on you. No, that's not what I wanted. It is curious when we get to these areas, though. Um, all of our normal. Traditional weapons 
suddenly become absolutely useless. Definitely an interesting kind of side effect to being in this darkness, world of darkness. And some of these crystals seem to come back quicker than others. Not really sure why. And it, it's a little bit jarring the way they... Oh, God. It's a little bit jarring the way they kind of just uh, appear in front of us. Well, you know, they don't just... Um, you know, there's no animation or anything. Also, what's interesting is if we zap two or three enemies at once, it doesn't take any more ammo. It doesn't drain our weapon faster, which you would assume... Oh, God. Almost caught me with me pants down. Almost. Little dick. Okay. Oh, just about see them materializing. Yeah, look at that. Come on. There we go. Weird, weird squawk. Uh, right, what's our power like? 86%. Yeah, let's wait for another crystal. I mean, these things are fairly common, but as with anything, in these sort of games, they're fairly common and still they're not. So, where are we now? Okay. Be able to... Ah, hello, friend. Two friends. What's better than one friendo? Two... Oh, God. The fucking whole family tree here. Wow, we're going for the triple. We've already had the triple. We're going for the hexakill. Not sure why that... Different colour there. Bugger. Uh... Apparently. Alright, well, we're just going to fight our way out of this. Get the fuck out of my face, dude. Seriously? Oh, God. Yep. Yeah, that's going to sting. But that's okay, because we've got a little drink of water if we need it. I've just noticed that we actually do have a little... Uh, a little bit of yellow lightning. Alright, that drink. Okay. We just use the drink. Could use a battery recharge as well. where the gates are and how to open them. But what's he after? I don't know, really. My mission was to find that out. I believe he wants to use the Morse's work for his own benefit. Come on, cut the crap. If you knew all that, why didn't you call me sooner? I thought my cover was solid, but Lamb had me under surveillance. And when I tried to contact my boss... Stop it. You're breaking my heart. Listen, Carnby, I know I owe you one. Both you and Ali. I got in touch with a reliable friend of mine who runs a helicopter company. We'll fly in and pick you up in an hour or two. Can you hold on until then? Oh, yeah. Over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, these things pop quite satisfyingly. Right, let's grab some more crystals because we're just about out of fun juice. All right. Oh, God, he's just, like, spawned in. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I forgot they do that thing, don't they? They do that thing where they spawn in and they're not active yet. Right, well, let's not play around with these things. Let's go. Well, they're like little aliens, don't they? And by little aliens, I mean uh, xenomorphs. Really do. Weird, the way they just spawn in and think about their life choices for a while before they actually attack. Look, you little fucking ankle-biting bastards. Unfortunately, whilst they're still materialising in, you can't kill them. Which is a little bit sucky. You know, it is what it is. Okay, cool. <coughs> Grab that. Let's get out of here. And head in here. Now... 
Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> it looks like we've got two choices. Man, this is just like running. God. This is a really like anticlimactic end to the game. Yeah, there's like no pressure. You know, you've got unlimited ammo. It's a bit strange. Stop going into the bag, damn it. Right, okay, cool. So I think we want to go around this way. Pretty sure there's plants in this area. Or something. Got to be close to the end, surely. Because, like, there's a whole load of nothing really happening. Uh, so, two choices of doors. This is a very destroyed little civilization here. Wow, they're just going to continuously bleed in. I see. Dude. Dude. My god. <laughs> that is relentless. Okay. Cool. Oh, that's not exactly where we want to be, is it? Oh my god, look at these guys. Right, well this is a sweet load of nothing. Okay. So I guess there's only three dogs coming at us at once. Which is fine. Ah, fuck. I've gone all the way around. Ah, shit. Fuck off. Honestly. Fuck do you think you guys are? <gasps> I mean, they're not exactly difficult to avoid. So, there's a thing. And of course, we have more corridors. Where are you? I'm in a very large room with gigantic, ornate columns. Then you're almost there. Hurry up. Uh, yes. We're hurrying. We've been doing nothing but running for ages. 66%. Right, let's grab some power. 99. We'll wait for another crystal. It doesn't take long, so we just sit here and think about our life choices together, you know? Right, cool. Yeah, I remember this bit. Ah, this is where we fought, what's his name? With uh, a line, isn't it? So, with that secret hidden knowledge of ours, she's one of those. Uh, yes. Yes. Cool. Let's go. If there's anything like down here. I mean, what? Yes, what was there going to be, I suppose? Sweet FA. Now, is he going to be here? No, he's not here. How interesting. Fountain of a natural source. Liquid looks like water. Uh, yeah, we'll fill our flask. We've got so much healing items. So much, like, ammo as well. Alright, let's fill the flask again. Because, I guess, why not? Um, okay. So now, where are we going? Is this anything? Right, we appear to be stuck. Well, okay, maybe not stuck, but where do we go now? Oh, okay. Somewhere to go here. Cool. Oh, yeah, this is very ominous, isn't it? Yeah, this is looking ominous. Drop a save. As we have 682,000 of them. Ah, uh, oh, hey, there's a dead fella. A mummified Kansas warrior. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Oh, this is... Where we were. Right at the end of the game, the lane. 
Can we not use the? Uh. Yes. Not. Bust of statues. Two heads are missing. Well. Uh, okay. Yes, we need to go find a couple of heads. A sweet FA down here. Or is there? Nope. Definitely sweet FA down there. Okay. There's lots of mummified dudes down here. Can't go that way. So. This way? Really? I guess we're going back down another rope. Jesus. Ropes and ropes. Alright, well, fine. Can't go through there. Can't go through there. Even though they look kind of like doorways. Uh, Heads. We're looking for heads. There's a head. Oh! <laughs> what the fuck is this? You alright there, dude? Uh, I'm guessing... Shoot him? Or maybe not. Oh, God. <laughs> he just fucking ragdolls us. Okay. Uh... Really? These big open doorways that really look like obvious, you know, moving points. Come on. You're telling me that we can't go anywhere here. Oh, hello. Oh, um. <laughs> he just fucking lugs us. Uh, dude, got a proposition for you. How about you come here and taste my fucking lightning? How do we get to the med kits? There we go. We don't want to be fine. We want to be okay. Yep. Yeah, so, oh shit. He really does just grab us, doesn't he? Maybe we need. He's a. He's actually quite a cool enemy. Maybe it's time. He's like the rocket gun or something. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think these are really doing much against him, to be honest. Uh-oh. Run. No, no. Can't be. You fool. Yeah. Not convinced. Oh, we're dead. Shit, it doesn't take much for him to kill us then, does it? Hell. Right, let's try that again, shall we? Good thing we saved it. It really doesn't take much for him to kill us. Uh, guessing we need to do him in another way. So... I wonder if... This is a more powerful weapon. I don't really know. He does look fucking weird though, doesn't he? Well, he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's finally one with the darkness, which is what he always wanted. Oh, yeah, how the fuck do we stop him? Ow. Did he just... He seems to just appear. Yeah, right, okay. He automatically... <laughs> he automatically appears down there. Um. Okay, I don't know how this weapon works. It just, sometimes it takes a second to charge up and then fires. Sometimes it just takes a second to do nothing. Uh, right, okay. What weapons do we have? I'm guessing we're just going to go with a rocket launcher. Right, stick and move. Trouble is, once he's on your ass, he's on your ass, you know? Okay. Alright, it's not too bad, I guess. Keep moving. 
Yeah, he's very slow. Very slow. Alright, cool. So, we've only got 40 rockets. So, we need to be a little bit careful. Come on, go for the grab. There we go. Uh, still really not convinced if this is doing much. I'm guessing what we've got to do here, because he seems a little bit salty about that spear. I'm guessing we've got to like weaken him or something. And then he's going to go get the spear. And then we can get the... Oh god, then we can get the spear, I should say. That's what I'm going to assume. Oh, great. And the hitboxes for these walls is awful. Uh, I mean, we really don't have a lot of options. Well, we've got a lot of options of weapons, but they don't... Oh! I was going to say they don't appear to be doing much, but I guess they did? Uh... Um... What the fuck is that about? Uh, we become the god's son? Oh, he stabbed him in the knee. Uh, is he dead? Really? We, we don't have to do that like, I don't know, three times or something? Okay. I mean, sure. That was about as anticlimactic as it gets. For uh, look, look. Look, I appreciate we're playing an old game here, but come on. That was really duff, to be honest. That was the great Obed Morton. Uh, well, I mean, his brother's still around, so I guess maybe we've got to fight his brother. Wait a minute, how come we've only found one head? Unless, um, uh, Elaine's got one. Maybe. And we just miraculously appeared out here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, object. Yes, we have the head. You place a head statue on the bus. Oh. Maybe we really needed one. I have the statue. Oh. Aline, over there we here. go. Everything's about to collapse. Run for it. That's a very large looking Aline. Guess it's time to get the fuck out of Dodge. Yes? No? Maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the end. Of course. She's got a jacket back on. I am most grateful. Now go. <laughs> He's got a jacket back on. I like the way he grabs her hand. It's like she's incapable of running herself. Or maybe she doesn't know the way. Come on, climb in. Oh, I thought they were just going to stand there. Oof. Well, you sure had that coming.
more about what happened. Shadow Island was situated precisely on the crest of the Buffalo Horseshoe. Its fault line suddenly spread like a dozen or so meters, and the island literally resounded. Captain Miss Wallace, you can send Fishburne to tonight's Cleveland Ward. Hmm. So I guess his partner is dead then. Ah. Well. That was Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare. Um, hmm. An interesting game. It's... Uh, it's definitely a relic of its past, that's for sure. And it sure as shit has not held up like something like Silent Hill or Resident Evil has uh, at all. Which is a bit of a shame. But, <laughs> what is this ending music? Uh, well, this is totally, um, goes against the grain of the atmosphere of the game. Can we skip that? We can. Oh, then we've got this awful din. Let's do something like that all. And we can have some thoughts. So, it's definitely aged, I would say, quite a lot more than the other games that we've mentioned. It's it's not a bad game. You know, it's okay. And I would say if you're a fan of these survival horror games like I am, it's certainly worth a playthrough. Uh, unfortunately, like, the weapons... The weapons in the combat are just really not that good and the puzzles are the puzzles aren't bad i mean they're they're not so much puzzles for the most point apart from the fact that they're just really a collection of keys that you get from one door to the other um that's basically what the game boils down to there are some more simple puzzles in the game as we've seen but they're not that difficult to work out with the exception of the uh, portrait puzzle, actually probably the hardest one in the game. Um, but that comes down to the camera angles and trying to work out who is who. But then I suppose they go up in age all the time. You know, it's not difficult. Uh, this game is very well documented online as well. So if you need walkthroughs, passwords, yeah, passwords, tips, there's plenty of it out there. Um, the t the fact that you get the two scenarios as well, I was led to believe that Eline's story was more puzzle driven and less combat heavy compared to Carnby's. The other way, he's more action. But I mean, I know there was a, about a month gap between me playing the two scenarios, but I didn't really get that. <laughs> I felt that Carnby's was way more action heavy and Kambi's also felt like a much short um experience the a lines as well but maybe that was because i was more used to the game i'm not really sure it yeah it's one of those i mean the atmosphere for the game was pretty good i did like the way the enemies in this game were actually interesting uh, not so much themselves but the story behind the enemy dark icky stuff from beyond the beyond this gate uh, boss fights were fucking garbage let's be fair the, the worst boss fights i can really think of well no we have played the ring the ring definitely that man um but no no it's it's perfectly serviceable for what it is i would say this is if resident evil and um yeah let's say resident evil and silent hill say they're the top tier of the survival horror game uh, and i guess you could also put um fatal frame up in the top tier as well uh and something like the ring and vampire vampire what's that game called? countdown vampires are on the bottom although i think vampire uh, Countdown Vampires was better than the ring. 
And I would say this is somewhere in the middle. This is like a mid-tier game. It's worth playing, but it does have a hell of a lot of problems. Uh, mainly down to the combat. And I'm still not happy about the fact that the uh, enemies are just boring. They're to fight. They really are quite boring. The game itself is very, very easy as well. There's no unlockable. There's no difficulty setting. Um, visually, it's a very nice looking game. Um, but that's pretty much all I have to say about it. It was, yeah, it was a very average adventure. I'm glad I played it. And I definitely don't regret my time playing it either. Unlike, say, oh, I don't know, The Ring. The Ring, I regret my time that's mortal yeah this was interesting so where are we heading next well uh <laughs> we do have the 360 yes yeah we've got the 360 game to do uh maybe we're gonna do that first i don't know we'll see what comes up i'll have a think i'll see what i feel like playing we have multiple options but anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, I've definitely enjoyed that, actually. Um, one thing I will say about this game as well, it seems like you spend a hell of a lot of time in the manor, right? And once you get out of the manor, the game just kind of like ends in a few minutes. It, or that's the way it feels anyway. Obviously, it's like a, an hour or so after the manor. But yeah, the fact that certain doors lock can change. And... <sighs> it was a very strange game. Let's just leave it at that. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time. Mm -hmm.